Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Dragster TV here, back at it again. And today, guys, we're back here on Snow Runner on console. As you guys can see here today, I'm here uh, back on my Xbox One, like I always am. Uh, here today, gonna go ahead and showcase a couple of new console mods that has just gone ahead and been released earlier today. Uh, I know I'm just a bit late uh, because these mods were. Uh, I believe added in somewhere around this morning. I was at school. The good thing is a Friday, and I wish these mods were added in just a bit later so that I can uh, be one of the first people to share it with you guys here today. Uh, now, I'm sure I am still one of the first people to showcase uh, the console version of these mods because, as guys may have known, these mods uh, I'll go over. There's three new mods here today and an extra map. So, uh, I guess four mods all together uh, on the mod browser. But three. Uh, two vehicles one trailer and one map all right guys and here today i will not be showcasing that map but uh oh man i should have started this video here in the mod browser show you guys it but uh it's on page one of the popular today you guys can look at it for yourself it seems like a pretty cool it's a canada something map uh it seems like a pretty cool map uh, but yeah, so I will be one of the first people to showcase this here today on console for you guys Just go through the mix, you know, customize, do some uh, time runs uh, Here today I'm on the Stadium Super Trucks map Gonna go ahead and showcase all these vehicles on uh, Do a little uh, time on the drag strip uh, Time them all in the mud run, one, two, three uh, That should be pretty fun Can't wait to go through and do all that Along with uh, showcasing all the customization with these vehicles uh, But as I was going on about, uh, pretty much these vehicles have been out on con no, on console on uh, PC for quite some time. So for those of you that do play on PC, you guys may have uh, already gone through the mix and seen these vehicles. But the thing is, they've been added to console here today, and I can't wait to go through everything on them here today. All right, guys. So two new vehicles. Uh, first, we have frogs side by side. All right, it's custom side by side, as you guys can see right here. And then the next vehicle, since as I already mentioned, we have two vehicles. A trailer, which you guys can go into the trailer store and find. Uh, they're pretty cool. Alright, guys, mainly used for missions is what the description said. Alright, we're not going to go through them here today, but you guys can find them in page one, along with the new uh, Canada map. Alright. Um, and then next we have a little Jeep here, off-brand Jeep. It is an iX5. And yeah, we're going to go through them all here today. Should be pretty fun. So starting off in the frog side-by-side. Uh, here one of my personal favorites, I've just gone through and just messed around with it a bit, noticed that these were just released this morning, and I should probably make a video on it here today. So I went through and looked at her, who already's made a video, so I'm one of the first, uh, showcasing these here on console. Alright guys, once again I'm just showcasing them here on just an Xbox One, nothing too special like an Xbox One X or an Xbox Series X, uh, but maybe one day I'll get there. Alright guys, so I'm just starting to customize, I've already gone through and customized this one, so maybe I should buy a new one. Truck store going on over here, finding ourselves. That's the iX5. I know that the uh, frogs custom side by side is right here. We're gonna go ahead and buy ourselves a new one and go run through the customization. All right, starts out green. Here it is, custom. Uh, not custom. Sorry, it's the uh, frogs custom. Uh, little, not the frogs custom crawler, the frogs custom side by side is what this is. Alright, so hopping into engine, we have stock and upgrade. Go ahead and run upgraded. Alright, in the gearbox, we just have stock. Yeah, just have stock. Alright, uh, suspension, we have lifted and stock. Go ahead and run lifted for the best performance. And all the way down here at the bottom, we love to see it 43 inch assassinators. These things are going to cut through the mud just like. It's nothing, uh, so we're gonna definitely see how awesome these things are uh, here on the Stadium Super Truck map. Uh, we're just gonna see how it takes and handles all the mud runs and stuff like that. All right, guys, gonna go and buy those. We have a console uh, winch and then a stock winch. We're just gonna keep a stock winch. We're not gonna be doing much with a winch here today when testing it. Then we have supplies we can put in the back. Um, might as well. All right, now hopping straight into visuals, we have one rim, so that's going to be the TIS rims. Going on into color, you guys can go through and look at them for yourselves. Can going to run the main color here, nice little red, and we pretty much just rebuilt uh, the other color I have right here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hop straight out of the garage here and try it out. First things first, guys, first things first. All right, stop engine. Going to go ahead and turn up some of the game volume for you guys here today, and let's... Uh, Let's listen to the startup. All right, here it is. Uh, let's turn the uh, handbrake so it's on just the front wheel drive. 
Alright, so this is, that's it, you guys can hear it. Oh man, it's got a pretty fast launch, I like it. All time diff lock, all time audio drive, just like, you know, a normal side by side should be. Uh, we have low plus and low minus, just low gear, we have high gear, uh, and then, you know, just auto. So, uh, pretty normal setup. Alright, one more time here in the engine. Alright, that's the engine for you guys, so you guys can hear it, because a lot of you guys are saying that uh, with these, I should definitely include some of the audio for the, some of these nice vehicles. I've already gone ahead and listened to the horn, it's just the normal frog's horn. Uh, for a lot of you guys that have um, been around these mods, you guys may know what the frog's horn is. It's a copyright song, and uh, probably don't want to get copyright just from a horn on this video. Alright, so we're not going to include that. However, what we're going to go ahead and do... Alright, uh, we've kind of already started entering the mud here. Let's start about right here. Let's pull up our stopwatch and let's just see how quick we can do a little mud run. One, two, three, right through here. I believe this is a good place to start. So here we go. I'm going to uh, just start here in three, two, one. Here we go. And we're off. We're going to run automatic. You guys may know if you guys have been around the channel here. Oh man, it's just cutting through the mud with these nice uh, 43 inch assassinators. Gotta love them. Uh, same thing with the. Uh, Frog's custom crawler. All right, then we're gonna get into here. We're gonna start it about halfway through two uh, We might be able to just cut through in uh, second gear automatic when we reach one right. Okay, so right now So we should do low plus Coming out of it on maximums. We're going for a fast run. We're gonna go into low plus and Here we go we're making some pretty good timing for a mud run all right, we're just going along in automatic. Let's see. All right, so we're a bit faster in low plus at cutting through all this mud. Uh, so yeah, so far the uh, side by side is holding up pretty well. All right, we're gonna want to try something else as soon as we're out of here, since we are on just this sick play map, and uh, personally one of my favorites. I'm pretty sad I'm not trying it out on the new Canada map, and I'm hoping that's not letting any of you guys down with some of the new console mods. Let's just go ahead and pull ourselves out of here. We ended at a whole 1 minute 33 seconds, I believe on, uh, let's see, the 110, that truck. I think I got either under a minute. Oh yeah, I, never mind, no I didn't. I got a pretty similar time. I got over a minute. It's about a minute 30 is what I got. Never mind, I got a minute 37, because that was just a two, like, two to three days ago. I did that uh, that same mud run with the 110, all right, guys? the new uh, One of the newest console mods have just gone ahead and been added, all right? Now we're going to go ahead and test uh, test out its capabilities on the rock, all right, guys? On, over these rocks, since this is a side-by-side, -side, should be able to handle it, all right? I'm going to start right here, so... Uh, mud run was 1 minute 33 seconds, forgot a lap as soon as I get like uh, 2 and 3, but that's alright. Uh, reset, and we'll have the e-brake, 3, 2, 1, and we're off. Alright guys, now we're just going to run it in normal, uh, automatic, we're just going to see how long we can last, I'm pretty sure we can make it over these um, rocks pretty quickly. Alright, so far so good. Oh, alright. So far we're making it. Okay. That was a 23 seconds. Alright, 23 seconds and we're out of there. Now we're going to try not to flip on these. Uh, but we should be fine. Let's hope we don't flip. Okay. So far made that. Alright. Didn't flip yet. Want to make it fast, but we do not want to flip. Alright. Second gear coming up over there. Probably could have done that just a bit faster. Oh, uh, this always gets me. Oh, I think I might have gotten it. All right, I got it. Oh, no, just barely. Okay, so that was where it messed me up, right around the 53-second mark. All right, so that's where that messed me up. All right, that is, uh, that's the run for the frog side-by-side. -side. Here it is right here, as you guys can see. Uh, so we did a mud run. Now let's do a drag race. You know what, guys? We're going to do a drag race. Since, let's see, we had a minute 33 run through uh, one, two, three sets of mud. And then, uh, what, a 30, or, no, a 53 second run, um, over the rocks. Alright, and now we're going to try it on the drag strip. So once again, reset. Alright, remember all those times, guys. And then, here we go, 3, 2, 1, and we're off. Alright, come on now. It's pretty fast, so I'm curious. 
to see. Also, guys, I found out that you guys can actually wheelie the 110. As soon as you hit third gear, you go into high gear, and you just wheelie the sucker all the way to about this line. So you can wheelie pretty far in that uh, the 110 truck. Pretty sure a lot of guys have tried it out. It's personally one of my favorites. Very fun. Oh my gosh, guys, it might be one of the uh, fastest vehicles on that track strip I've ran so far uh, with a whole 24 seconds. All right, that is, uh, that is the Frog's Custom Side-by-Side. -side. All right. All right, so that is that, uh, that's that vehicle. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, now try out, well, actually, um, here's the one I just finished building. I'm pretty much just going to rebuild that for you guys here real quick. The iX5. Where is that at? Right here. Gonna go ahead and buy another one of those. Customize. I'll check out the engine. All right. So uh, for our normal engine, we have the Li34 Go Devil, and then for the other two engines, I'm gonna run uh, the iX5 R&D engine. But then we also have a special engine up here. Gonna go ahead and run that one just for speed and all that good stuff. Uh, obviously gonna run an R&D gearbox, but we also have a off-road and a crawler box. All right, all right. Let's check out the suspension here. So we have uh, stock suspension, we have raised crawler suspension. All right, and tuned custom. Tuned custom sits the highest. Just gonna go ahead and run it for that build. You know, good old dragster TV build. And these tires, they load in pretty quickly. I uh, like to see that. And also, guys, these tires, I uh, haven't seen them before. We're in mud tires. Uh, these are the XL Mudders by Quasi. As you guys can see, here they are. 43-inch. Um, Going to go ahead and run them here. Oh, yeah, I forgot about uh, everything else. All right. It's a bit, bit important, not just the lift kit and the tires. All right, we have all these for our winches. All right, we have a spare wheel in the back uh, that can swap out for our back seat. Engageable diff lock, snorkel's going to be a tall front facing, and for frame add-ons, we pretty much just have, oh, I'm going to run a roll bar. Oh, okay, so if you buy the roll bar, you can unlock all these tires, right, right, that makes sense, that makes ton sense, all right. So now, is that all? Yeah, that was frame add-ons. Uh, miscellaneous, we can choose if we want the back seat or not. going to run an antenna, because why not? Roll bar lights, no fender flares, no rock rails or steps. Keep the normal front bumper and normal rims. And now, oh, she's looking at paint jumps. What's that? Oh, that, that's a beauty. It really is. Let's let's run let's run paint this paint job because it looks pretty cool. Time to try out and test the newly fully customized uh, IX5 or the Jeep here. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, run it through the mud. All right. So the drag strip run on the side by side was a 24 second run. All right. I uh, don't really remember. I believe it was one minute 33 seconds uh, on a, on the side by side run through the mud. Now let's see if uh, this vehicle here can, if this iX5 here can go ahead and uh, beat that. All right. So once again, three, two, one, start, and we're off. Oh my, am I going to have to use, you, you see I haven't tested this Jeep, I've just customized it. Oh, I might have to use uh, low plus for for the first mud. Oh my, yeah, that's not, that's, this isn't looking too good for the, for the old iX5 here. Uh, with a whopping 42 second run for just mud pit number one. Yeah, I think I'm going to head straight to the drag strip. Um, and we're just going to get that time down real quick before we get into any... Uh, then we'll see uh, about rock crawling. And then, you know what, maybe for the rock crawling, I'm going to do a quick little, with just my custom build, how I decided to build this here. I'm going to do a drag strip run. And then I'm going to put everything on crawler and then take it through the rocks. All right, I'm going to build a crawler version of car suspension, crawler, pretty much everything, and then we're going to see how it holds up. Right, perfect, lined up right there. Uh, what is it, 24 second run to beat. And yes, yeah, so 3, 2, 1, here we go. And we're off. Third gear already. Fourth, just past the first line. Okay, so we're maxed out. Six out of six gears. Oh my gosh, what is it going to be? What's going to be? What's going to be? 
Oh my gosh, so close to the 25 second run. Oh, and that wasn't even in, uh, I forgot about all wheel drive. I totally forgot about all wheel drive. Let's go ahead and test the mud run now. All right, well, that was a 25 second run. Uh, now let's test the mud run. Probably should have looked at that. You know, I just kind of assumed it probably would have been in all wheel drive. Now, uh, since I've already forgot the first run, but it was a very bad, what, 30-something second run for just the first mud pit. We're going to go ahead and test out the IX-5 here um, with all-wheel drive, the proper way how it should be going through just at least one of these. And then if it's not looking too good, then I'm going to take through the second one. But I at least just want to try out the first one. So three, two, one. here we go. And we're off a bit better already. Uh, obviously, since I was just, I should have, I should have looked, should have known. Um, oh yeah, we're making way better time because we're already halfway through it uh, at 14 seconds. Uh, so that should average about the whole 30 second. Uh, oh man, it kind of seems like it'd be the same studio. It's not. So that was 20 seconds. That was 23 seconds. Never mind. It was 22 seconds. All right, we kind of messed up there. So that was 22 or 23 seconds. I might have been a second off uh, here for the IX5. And yes, yeah, so now let's uh, go ahead and build a crawler. Alright, so we did it the proper way in oil drive, so now I'm happy. Alright, let's go into customize crawler box. Alright. And crawler suspension. These 43 inch uh, OR2s by Quasi, these bad boys, don't really need any uh, mud tires, really. Alright, so now that we have those on, uh, let's see, do we got everything? I believe we do. Now let's go ahead and run it over some rocks, all right? Since we only have two instead of three vehicles to test out today, uh, I'm, I don't really care how long the video is going to be. going to run an all-wheel drive, just normal automatic gear, and we're just going to see how it holds up uh, on the rocks, all right? Oh, we probably should have, um, let's see, end of the mud pits over there. So we are at the wrong one, all right? I probably would have done show contest if it was... If they had that same option over here. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get lined up here. Alright, I'm just going to say that's lined up. <clears throat> and now we're going to go ahead and see with a crawler build how it uh, goes ahead and holds up. Alright, 3, 2, 1, and we're off. Alright, all wheel drive, all wheel drive. Need to remember that. Okay. Alright, so far it's. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I don't have too good of a feeling, but I gotta stay positive. We're just in, what, five rocks in, I believe. Alright. Uh, I wish I could remember the runs. I probably should have uh, written them down, but if those of you that are watching the video, you guys know the difference, or you guys could definitely go back and look at the difference in the runs. Alright, we made it over the rocks, alright? We made it over the rocks in a whole 34 seconds. That was, uh, that was the run. 34 second run, made it over the rocks. Now we're moving on to this. All right, we're just seeing how far we can make it, okay? 34 second run through the rocks, oh my gosh, okay. Well, we didn't flip it. Yes, we did, all right. Um, so yeah, we flipped it, and this is how far we made it. I at least made it past these in the uh, custom side-by-side, -side. but I have a feeling we could do better, all right? Let's go ahead and retry it. All right, guys, so here we are, relined up. I believe that run was like a, a one minute, five second run, and th that's how far I made it. Uh, let's go ahead and retry this. Three, two, one, and we are off. All right. Oh, yeah, all wheel drive. All wheel drive. It's a bit important. I don't know why I'm swerving everywhere. All right, here we go. Oh, surely we can make it farther this run. Uh, I'm sure we can. All right, I'm not even worried about time now. I'm curious how far I can make it. We're already 20 seconds in. I've already gotten stuck on two rocks a second ago. Made over the rocks pretty, pretty quickly, pretty easily. All right, let's see here. Let's not swerve so much. Suspension is going up great for my crawler suspension. I really do like it. Got to admit. All right, now let's make it over at least the first one. All right, made it over the first one, and then we're swerving again. I'm not too sure why. All right. So we can go over the second one. Easy peasy. Oh, okay. Man, we always keep swerving after them. Not too sure why. 
coming up. It's we don't have it as thin tires. The assassinators should go right up on it and then make it over that. All right, so far we've made it. Oh, we made it to the same place. All right, so I gotta work on. I gotta work on that. All right. Made it to the same place. I made it in the side by side, I believe. And yeah, I was uh, about one minute thirty second run. So yeah, that is it for the iX uh, five or the Jeep and the Frogs custom side by side. All right, those are two very great custom vehicles. Gotta love them. Uh, ten out of ten for me on both of them. Definitely one of my new fa or both my new favorites. Uh, especially the side by side. I also got to give rep to the iX5. Super great vehicle. Oh, uh, yeah, that's it for all the tests and the modded vehicles. That is it for the new shipment of a couple of new console mods. So, if you guys do like them, uh, definitely let me know down below in the comments what you guys did think of today's video and what you guys do think of the mods and uh, possibly a video of me testing out more of these vehicles more in depth or possibly the next new shipment of mods because I'm always one of the first people to test out these new shipment of console mods until at least I get a PC uh, to they can hardly run Snow Runner soon. Uh, then I'll be testing out those new mods. Uh, so make sure to stay tuned for all those. But uh, yeah, I now I might be able to test out those new shipment of mods the next time we get one, uh, possibly on the new Canada map. Very, uh, very intrigued to go ahead and test out that map. It seems like a very cool map. And yeah, guys, so that's once again the for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure I have an amazing rest, guys, day or night. And with that, catch you guys very, very soon in the next one.